That's mainly the reason why I uh, I go to boxing a little bit, you know, because the fights aren't, you know, as big here. So I, I go to boxing to stay active myself, you know. Broadcasting worldwide at watchwxc.com. Introducing your fighters. First, fighter to my right. Tonight, he is out of the blue corner. Wearing the black trunks. He comes to a standing at six feet, one inch tall. Weighing 250 pounds. With a record of eight and five. Currently holding the IBC heavyweight title. And EFF heavyweight title. A freestyle mixed martial artist. Training for the IBC MMA Fight League. Here is Rashid, the Apex His opponent across the cage, man to my left. Tonight, he is out of the red corner, wearing the black and camouflage trunks. He comes to us, standing at six feet, two inches tall, weighing in at 250 pounds. With a record of two and one from Warren, Michigan. A freestyle mixed martial artist from the races. And wow, you can definitely tell he is from Clinton Township, yes, man. The hometown crowd in the corner of Tony Savage tonight, but uh, he's got his hands full tonight with Rashid. He is a big, strong guy, and uh, looks like he's going to bring it. Absolutely. I had the pleasure of watching uh, Rashid fight two weeks ago, actually. And, uh, pretty exciting. He likes to throw leather, you know? So This should be uh, a slugfest, then. Fighters come to the center, touch gloves. Rashid circling to the outside. Tony hunting him down. Hands kind of low for Rashid, but sometimes that's how they box. Outside leg kick Rashid. Tony you know hunting, looking for the big hooks. Here come the punches. Rashid looks to clinch. Tony pressuring against the cage. Lifts him up, takes out the leg, and passes to side control. Nice work by Savage. He's got Rashid pinned up against the cage. Rashid has a left underhook looking to stand back up. Savage looking to step over and take mount. Looks like he does. He has the mount. Savage got to look to pull him off the cage. She seems to be a little bit of trouble right now. That's not a place I would want to be with that big of a man on top no, of No, that's a heavy guy on top of you keeping you there. And you said a, a solid wrestling uh, background too. Yeah, no doubt. He's got a great base. Rasheed doesn't look to be uh, exploding out of there or doing much. He's looking to just hold and try to get a stand-up, but it's going to be hard to do from mount. Absolutely. And, you know, from my personal experiences, that is the last place you want a wrestler to be on top of you in a mount. I mean, that and besides taking your back. Savage landing some right hands. Rasheed's looking to give up the back in a second if he isn't. There we go. He's rolling. Savage having great control, looking to end the fight. Landing solid punches. Yep. Rashid's now giving up his back. Tony's real high. He has to be careful that he's not bumped and taking over. He's got one hook in, looking for the neck. Stretches him out, looking for the choke right now. You know, that's a lot of, a, lot of, a technique that a lot of fighters don't use. You know, when people are on your back, the bump, you know, tripod up and start bumping and shake, you know. You'd be surprised how high fighters really do get. Tony Savage with the tap and a rear naked choke. Congratulations to him and his hard work. It surely paid off. You know what I'm saying is, you know, like a lot of times people forget about the basic of wrestling, you know. You got to train it. Sounds like a pretty intense young man. Well, I mean, his last name is Savage, and in true form, he's showing us his Savage side. Had a great fight, didn't take any damage. You know, he threw... Uh, a couple of punches, tied him up, pressed him against the cage to the leg out, passed the guard. It was really textbook Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, uh, textbook MMA, ground and pound. He gave up his back, he threw in the choke, and uh, that's great work. Well, absolutely. Would you expect anything less than somebody who trains with the Swede? No doubt, no doubt. Uh, you know, much respect to Rashid taking the fight with a hurt foot. He didn't make any excuses. He showed up and fought, which is uh, more than a lot of men can say. Absolutely. All right, Ben, it was wonderful uh, having you. Um, always a pleasure having you around. And uh, like, like I said, always a class act, always a humble, respectful guest. 
Thank you very much, Drew. It's always good hanging out with you, and I'll uh, be back later. All right, wish you the best, Abel, to fight, sir.